What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft for the PlayStation 4. In this episode we'll be doing quite a few things. First up I think we should start off by sort of throwing together a new chest just because I don't know we fe I feel pretty cluttered right now there's a lot of stuff we do have to work on that's you know around the house and just around in general wow do we not have any wood at all maybe that's our first objective for this episode is to uh, sort of figure out some more wood because we really don't have too much it seems so maybe that's what we'll do we'll go on a little bit of a uh, hunting for trees even though the hunt won't be too difficult will it uh, trees are pretty easy to find aren't they but do we not have even any iron? <laughs> well, let's get the shears out, because we still need an achievement with the shears, along with getting some, um, there we go. <laughs> that should work, that should work. Excellent, excellent. And now we just need one piece of wood to make the sticks. Man, I, I really, one, one thing I have to do off screen is take care of the, uh, what's it called? All of the, uh, sort of this unorganizedness of my inventory and stuff. It's really, really messy right now. We do have a good amount of things we want to do. So let's try to get them done. I know a lot of people have been telling me that the number one way to get a horse to be tamed is get a, uh, what's it called? To get a, uh, saddle. That's what it's called. <laughs> and I'll be trying to do that very soon. I know that saddles are a very limited thing. So it's gonna be a little bit difficult to do that. But um, let's get, yeah, all of this out of here. Excellent, excellent. We wanna do some farm caring. I think that we're gonna dedicate yet another episode to taking care of the farm, because that would be nice, because I, I wanna um take care of the farm we currently have, along with doing things such as making new farms for new animals, so that we have stuff for like sheeps, and stuff for like uh, pigs, all that kind of stuff, so that we have more and more uh, resources. That would be really helpful. So why don't we uh, quickly, get some seeds, replace all this. But we're just going to be doing some house errands, things like that. You know, just to sort of generally prepare ourselves for the uh, times ahead, because I want to go back into the caves, get more diamond, more iron, all that kind of stuff, because if you did not know, my goal is to get, well, I actually already have full iron armor. So my next goal is to um, get some more diamond weapons so that we can go into the nether and actually be able to handle ourselves. Look at this horse up here, he's king of the hill. <laughs> I like that, good job, buddy. But yeah, why don't we head over now to the uh, woods. And what our goal is to be is probably to take out a few different trees, just so that we have a better reservoir of things. And then we're going to spend the night not sleeping, but taking care of some enemies. Um, we are sort of running low on resources that the enemies can give us, so I've been trying to, I wanna try to do that. I know that we want a lot of bones, that would be really helpful, and I know there is an achievement that relates to zombie meat if we eat it when our hunger is low. So basically, if you did not know, we're trying to be focusing a little more on getting the platinum achievement. That's a big point of the series, is that I wanted to get the platinum achievement for completing a lot of the achievements in the game, or all of them, to get the platinum. And that will be a really cool adventure, I think. And it is getting dark really quick, so I think I'm just gonna knock down this tree, maybe one more, and then head back to bed. Not back, not the back to bed, but back to the house, so that we can uh, put more stuff in the uh, our chest just in case we uh, happen to die. We haven't died yet in this series, so I really hope that we don't for quite some time. But let's head back now. There's a wolf over here. There's a lot of wolves in the area. And that's another thing, is that we need uh, five, yeah, five wolves for an achievement. I think it's just called like the wolf pack or something like that. And what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna name the next wolf, and then I'm gonna, for the other three remaining, I'm gonna let you guys as a community name the other dogs. I think that would be a really nice opportunity for you guys. We're gonna put all this, all this stuff back in there though. Yeah, this will work out nice and well. Okay, excellent, excellent, excellent. We're gonna do a little bit of this. This way, we aren't losing too much if we do happen to die. We have some carrots to eat, we have a sword to fight, and that'll work out. We actually don't currently have a bow and arrow because I was making this uh, dispenser here, so I don't currently have something. Also, if you have any ideas of what I should make with the dispenser, feel free to let me know in the comment section below because I really have no clue what it could be used for. I know it shoots things down at a high velocity, but besides that, I'm pretty clueless on what to use it for. Maybe there's some fancy contraption that you guys may know of that I don't, but first, let's do a bit of this. Come here, sheep. I'm not gonna hurt you. I just wanna shear you up and get a bunch of wood. We get to have a shearful day. Awesome, and that's really good. We're gonna do that for whatever sheeps we run into because it would be helpful, but it looks like the baddies are now out. So let's go and get those guys. Like I said, I definitely wanna focus on skeletons just because they will have um, bones and that'll be helpful for getting more wolves. And we say that as we're in the memorial for Pooch. Oh well. <laughs> oh gosh, hey, 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 buddy. Don't blow up now. And wow, we see a lot of horses. We got one to the left, one in the distance. Our landscape is getting quite varied. I like it a lot. And I'm tempted to take out the Enderman. Um, you know what? 
You only live once, right? Let's uh, eat up some food here and make sure we're on full hunger for this. What we're about to do. Don't do this at home, kid. At home, at home, kids. Don't want to be in danger. Let's maybe take out surrounding enemies. So you see the spider, which has this disgusting noise to it. I hate the noise they make. But you, you're going down. Ready? Huh. Oh no! Hey, you want to fight? You want to fight? You want to fight? Let's fight! Whoa! 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 Okay, come on! Come on! We can do it! Oh man, he's so scary! Oh! Oh! And like, and I'm getting shot at too. Not good! Not good! Not good! All right, we need to be prepared at any moment. Uh, oh! 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 So I have been taking a little bit of a break from this series because, <laughs> stinking skeleton, leave me alone, you jerk. There we go. We have been taking a little bit of a break from this series because I have been playing Minecraft with my buddy Stealth, and that was really, really cool and really, really fun. And where'd he go this time? He, he's playing some tricky business on me right now. He'll teleport, beat me up a little bit, and then teleport away. I don't like that. I don't like that business. <laughs> Not one bit. And why do they always spawn on top of my stinking, <laughs> on my farm? They just have a, is that a baby zombie? I think that's a baby zombie on top of there. All right, we need to deal with this Enderman beat first and foremost, but I don't, oh, he's off that way. Did he just sort of drop the ball? Is he done? Is he just like not interested in fighting me anymore? Maybe that's a new one. I'm not really sure. I don't know if eventually they just lose their aggro. That might be the case, but there is a baby zombie up there, which is really interesting. I don't know how we want to handle that. First off, we need to kill the enemies on the way there. So you first. And there's a skeleton, and the skeletons are always the hardest to deal with, in my opinion at least, at least for me personally, just because of all the tomfoolery they pull off here. Because it's like, even if you try to like be a little bit ahead of their shots, it doesn't always work out that way, which is why I really need to build another bow and arrow. So that can deal with that. And here's that baby zombie. He is so quick. Man, he is a speedy Gonzalez. Okay, come on, come on. There we go, gotcha. And then you, Mr. Spider, you wanna go on with stuff? Because we can do that. <laughs> we can do that indeed. Oh man, crazy night, guys. Crazy, crazy night. And then, like I said, we're gonna be doing this throughout the entire night just so that we can hopefully get a good amount of stuff in our inventory. And it's like, as soon as we turn around, there's like, there's like a bunch of stuff behind us, a bunch of enemies. So it's a little hectic. It's hard to really get your groundings with any of the enemies. And where did that Enderman run off to? It's bothering me now. We are reviving our health slowly but surely, which is a good thing though. Because, you know, we're eating up. We have plenty of carrots, so that helps with that. Hmm. I don't know where the Enderman went. I, I need to get more of the Ender Pearls, just because they can help us get to the end. All right, got rid of him. This guy up here is being a royal pain in the booty butt, though. He's just like, if you want to get me, come up here and get me. <laughs> and he doesn't want to come on down. So you know what? He can stay up there and they can burn alive once the day comes. And then I get the final laugh. Ha <laughs> ha. Ooh, ooh, you, you. I don't like you. Oh, there you go. Got him. But there's another one. And I'll do the same thing I did there. So, uh, uh, come on. Yes, awesome. We're not doing too bad. But Mr. Zombie over here wants to change that fact. Come on. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, excellent, okay. Man, we're really tearing it up here. I, I'm like scared, but it's sort of an adrenaline rush too, so that's good. Hmm. I got a skeleton over here I could deal with, but I'm not sure if I quite wanna do that. Either way, let's eat up some food right, right now because that's what we especially need. The carrots actually do a really good job of filling us up. I'm really glad that we got a good chunk of those. And there we go. Okay, so far, so good. I'm enjoying the, hey, it's a creeper. You get out of here, uh, uh, oh, darn it, oh well. Now I know that zombies have a chance of dropping some iron, so I would really like to see that happen. I would like some rare drops, that would make me a happy, happy zebra, but you, thank you. <laughs> that's, that's, that's a satisfying little noise though, I like that a lot. This is like, chick. <laughs> feel like a barber or something. All right, then there's this, whoa, it's a zombie testificate. I know that I have to cure you, but I don't know how. So I guess I gotta take you out for now, I'm sorry buddy. I'm so sorry. Oh well, I feel so bad now. I just killed him. Hey, you skeleton. There's wolves all over the place. Oh man, oh man, come on, ready? Uh, uh, uh. Come on, no, no, stop it, stop, stop. <laughs> okay, got him. Man, this is an intense night. Where'd that wolf run off to? Hey buddy, I have four bones for you. Yes, <laughs> hello. So now I have a new new Pooch Pal. Now his name's not gonna be Pooch, of course. That was what the first dog was named. We're going to name him Scruffy. I think that would be a good name. Hello, Scruffy, how are you? And I would like to dye his, uh, we're gonna do that really quick. I wanna dye his uh, collar so that, of course, he stands out as his own dude. Let's try blue. Blue sounds like Scruffy's color. All right, Scruffy, here you are. Did that work? Yes, it did! <laughs> I'm so happy right now. We got a new pooch pal, and you're gonna come in here with me, maybe? Would you like that? Would you like to come inside your new house? That would be really nice. Oh, 
Oh, we do have enemies around that we gotta be careful. Scary stuff, very scary. You know what, if you're not gonna come in, I'm gonna help you in really quickly. Ready? Ooh. There we go, excellent, excellent. Now we're not gonna keep you there. No worries about that. We are actually gonna push you off into the other room where you have plenty of space to be happy and to live and all that kind of stuff. So let's get you into there. Ready? Ooh, wait, maybe I should just make you not sit so that you can follow me in here. Come on, pooch. And we still have this whole upstairs area which we need to uh, gussy up and make it look a lot better. And we're definitely going to be pursuing that soon. So pooch, come on. You can do it, boy. I, I believe in you, I believe in you, come on. Come on, I might have to just push him along. I know that sometimes the dogs are just silly like that. No, buddy, please, please help me out here. Ready? Eh. There we go, ooh, ooh, <laughs> there we go, good job. Okay then, all right, now we're gonna head out. He seems happy in here, he's not in a spot where he can be hurt, and there's Pooch. Oh, not Pooch, oh, no, why am I saying that? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> he is Scruffy, hello Scruffy. And now, like I said, if I get any new dogs, which I will definitely be trying to do, you guys can name them. I will be checking out the comments section to see what names are best and just sort of be picking them out whenever, like whatever ones I like. So feel free to throw out your best name ideas and I'll definitely give it a listen, see what you guys have to say. And we got spiders all over the place as well. It's becoming morning now though. So these guys are gonna have a harder time. Well, I'm gonna have an easier time, so that'll be nice. All right, taking down all the spiders. You wanna fight with me? Okay, let's tussle. There we go, gotcha. And I think he dropped more web, which is really good string. And I don't wanna make my way into the woods because the woods is sort of the danger zone when it comes to uh, the animals, or not the animals, the enemies, because you can't really see them until they're right into your face, which can be ever so dangerous. So we're not gonna do that. We're gonna look around on the top of this mountain maybe for some last second enemies to kill off or maybe just some loot that was laying on the ground from the enemies that are going to be dying from the bright old sun here in a minute. But yeah, that wasn't a bad night at all. I'm pretty happy with the turnouts with that. Now there is a, ooh, oh, hey buddy. You are silent one, you are a silent little creeper. There we go, we destroyed him. I would would have liked to have gotten the um, stuff that he drops but we went quite fast enough so. We didn't end up doing so. Also soon we need to go out into the jungle because I do want to get a cat as a pen. Not only that, but it also uh, goes to, uh, what's it called, our achievement list. So it looks like there's not too much to do now. Okay though, I'm happy. I am very happy because we were able to get some nice stuff here. We got our new new doggy friend, which is great, great, great. <laughs> Good old Scruffing. And I, now if you want to know why I named the dogs Pooch and Scruffy, well Pooch was, you know, that's what I want to call a dog if I ever get one. I want to get a little pug, <laughs> call him Pooch. And Scruffy is something I want to name a German Shepherd one day. So these, these these names do mean something to me. I want to actually name my dogs whenever I get a dog. Those kind of things. This guy's chewing in though. He's smart. He's a smart skeleton. He's not like, I can't die. I can't burn if I'm in the water. All right then, but he can still die to my sword play. Ha ha, gotcha. Okay, excellent. Okay then, I'm happy with this. I feel like we should start the day off as it ended last day with getting some more wood. That would be helpful. But I figured while we're doing that, I'll talk to you guys a little bit about what's going on in my daily life. Right now, I've been pre-recording and pre-editing a ton of videos. You guys shouldn't be seeing this for at least a little while, just because I've been going, planning on going to a little convention called MAGFest, which stands for Music and Games Festival. It's in uh, Maryland, and it's gonna be a really, really cool event. I can't wait to you know go there and sort of hang out with some good internet and YouTube friends and that kind of stuff. I won't be making any vlogs of it, just because that's not really my thing, but it's gonna be really, really cool. If you are going to MAGFest, feel free to let me know. I always have a fun time meeting up with fans because I did go last year and I met one or two people who have actually seen my videos, which I thought was the coolest thing ever. But yeah, I can't wait for that. That's gonna be so much fun. And I have a whole bunch of uh, videos pre-recorded just so that when I'm out for the four days that I am, you guys still have plenty of awesome content to watch. So hopefully you guys will appreciate that. And I can't wait to go to more and more conventions as the channel gets more and more popular to meet more and more fans. I feel like it's a very essential part to a growing channel is being able to physically meet and be there for your viewers. And I can't wait, to, you know, it's just like, this stuff is just like, it's this stuff I dream about, you know, at night when I'm snoozing. <laughs> it's this stuff. So it's exciting. It's a whole new thing for me. So yeah, if you're going to any conventions, feel free to let me know. I Like I said, I'm going to MAGFest, which is in Maryland. I'm also going to PAX East, which is going to be in March, I believe. And that's going to be, oh man, I forget. Boston? I think? I don't remember. 
<laughs> stinking zebra brain forgetting everything. That's okay, that's okay. But yeah, we got a few more pieces of wood here, and I'm gonna definitely get somewhere of this. And that's a big spry uh, sprawling? I think it's a word I'm looking for. Jungle over there. I can't wait to adventure that. We haven't found a jungle uh, temple yet. I've heard a little bit about that in our little co-op series with Stealth, and I haven't seen one, and now I'm super excited, so maybe we could go in there and find one. Maybe we could do that, maybe this episode, maybe next episode. Maybe I'll just leave it off as a teaser for next episode, I don't know. <laughs> would be cool though, because that is quite the big old jungle over there. Would be fun to do, and ooh, looks like we have a little, I think we've actually found this before, but let's jump across. And while we're over here really quick, let me get the rest of this as well. We do have a uh, good chunk of uh, stuff to get here. So this will be good, good, good. Ready, ooh, there we go, excellent. <laughs> and yeah, let's just get all this, whoa. <laughs> and we're just swimming, and we might even get a full stack here. This is cool, though. And I love this because it'll regrow, and it's just sort of like a renewable energy. We can place more down if I wanted to. But for right now, I just wanted to pick some up. And that'll help with making some stuff, because I know it makes sugar. So that's good. We also need to keep on making our bookshelves, too. We can't forget about that. There's a ton of stuff to do in, this, in the amazing Minecraft world, I can tell you that much. So how much wood do we have here? Quite a bit. Let's, let's, can we make this? No, we can't do that. We can't craft it without a uh, workbench. So, oh, well. Alrighty then, let's uh, go back to the house here and sort of place some stuff in our inventory and figure all that out though. Hop on up here, and it's so cool though, seeing all the progress we've made these episodes, because this is a 20th episode, it feels sort of like a little anniversary. Can't wait until we get to like episode 50 or 100, and hopefully you guys are still watching at that point. That would mean a lot to me, but let's all put this stuff in there. And yeah, we already have a full stack of sugar canes. That's awesome, awesome, awesome. <laughs> I'm so happy with the progress we're making, it's so cool. Soon we're gonna have a really awesome just abode with a ton of cool things to do all the time. But there we go, I feel like we've made some good progress. We've gotten a new pooch pal, we've gotten a bunch of uh, little uh, stuff from the, uh, what's it called, uh, <laughs> the enemies, and soon we'll be able to make bookshelves. You know what, let's do that now. Let's let's not cut the episode too, off too short. What do we need to make uh, bookshelves again? We need, um, hmm, where is it again? My memory's not aiding me here. I think it's over here. And then, uh, uh-oh, where'd it go? There it is. Okay, so we need wood and books, but how do we make books again? We need paper and leather. Okay, this is something we can totally do right now. All right, let's get this, the sugar canes. And then we also need the books, and then we also need more wood. And we just collected a bunch of wood, so it should all be here. Where'd I, where'd I put it? <laughs> Silly forgetful zebra forgets where he put the wood he just got. Get this, and then we had more. Where'd it go? <laughs> Alrighty then, so let's go back in here. And where was that again? <laughs> How do I instantly forget? Here we go. Now we can make a bunch of paper with this. This will be super duper helpful. There we go. And now we can, oh, uh, we need more leather though. Let's quickly get the leather. We do have some somewhere around here, I think. Hmm, maybe not. I thought we did. Anyways, let's get the wheat, because we do need to breed up more cows. So maybe like what we could do. Leather, 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 do we have leather? I thought we did, and maybe my eyes just aren't adjusting right, but I totally thought that we did. All right, well we do not, unfortunately, have leather. Oh man, it's raining. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Let me quickly make you guys happy, so that hopefully you can make some baby cows. Yes, they did it, hooray. Don't, no, 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 don't go out. Don't go nowhere, don't go nowhere, okay? And now that they are happy and they're doing their thing, I'm actually gonna have to uh, ruin some family here. There we go, I need the leather, sorry guys. I feel so bad, it's like, I just destroyed your newborn father. I'm sorry. Maybe we could get a new cow in here, is there any uh, cows around? Here cows, there are some. You know what, let's do this really quick. Maybe this episode will be a little longer than I thought. That's okay, more for you guys to enjoy, right? I hope you guys like it. All right, you Mr. Cow, come to me. And there was another one. There was another one off this way, correct? I don't know where he went off to though. Hello, a wolf. I don't know where he went, so I guess we'll just be chilling with this guy for now. That's okay. Come on, buddy. Come on. Come on. This way. Come on. This way. Oh, no. <laughs> Come on, you can do it. Yeah, there we go. Come on, keep following me. Keep following me. We got it. We got it, yeah. You're gonna be a part of our family now, and that'll be really cool. Yep, you're almost there. <laughs> He's the slow one, but that's okay. I don't mind him being slow. Come on. Come on, you can do it. I believe in you, cow buddy. I believe in you. All right, now that he's over here, let's push him into here. No, 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 no. Hey, stop that. <laughs> you sillies. Come on, come on. Oh, oh, 
<laughs> they're being they're being temperamental here. Come on. You know what then? I'm gonna come in here, and you're gonna have no choice but to come in. Yeah, you're gonna be like, yeah, yeah, I want it. <laughs> I outsmarted you guys. All right, let's do a bit of this so that they also make a baby cow as well. Hooray! Now we, oh man, he has a bigger head than him, doesn't he? Hmm. I think he does. Huh, interesting. Anyways. Oh no, 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 no. Guys, stay, you guys stay in there. There we go, we got our family building. I wanna make sure that we have, you know, an, Im an increase in cows going on there. But there we go, now we have some leather. Not a ton, not a ton, but um, let's go in here. And <laughs> there was the one more book. Better than nothing, now we can make a few of these actually, so that's good. There we go, seven more, awesome. And soon we're gonna have to go back down and get diamonds so that we can actually make this like enchantment area. So let's do this, boop, boop. And then, do, 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 and then, hmm, 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 hmm. There we go, <laughs> it works out. Either way, there we go, our bookshelf is looking better and better, and hopefully soon, it will be a nice library. Either way, I'd like to thank you guys so much for watching. If you did this video, please consider giving it a like and sharing it with your friends and family, and commenting in the comment section below what do you think about this episode and some of the awesome things we did, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.